So I'm long overdue for a video on this electric Kia that I bought. Um, to kind of do a video of it during the day so you can actually see what's going on. One of the things I like about it is the way that they integrated this, uh, this display. You can hear the vacuum pump running for the brakes. And then the way that you see your speed and everything is from this uh, Garmin GPS that they put in. And there's your speedometer and everything and has navigation. Then we got this to show you how much uh, power you're pulling or putting into the battery or whatever. Um, it has a heater and AC. This is the for the AC uh, condenser fan. You can hear that start up. I don't know what a lot of this other stuff does. Like there's this button over here that I'm not sure what that does. We have the connections for... Um, the BMS as well as the the controller has a little Pioneer stereo over here we got power steering and then we have our regen braking which you can turn on or off with the power steering so you can hear the pump run that comes in handy so this is kind of the inside view of it let me take you for a look on the outside all right what we got here is a uh, we got 40 of the 100 um, uh, LifePo 4 batteries. We got this uh, BMS, a Lithion BMS, with a uh, Elcon charger. Then we have this 12 volt uh, converter that's running everything. And this thing actually has a heater and stuff in it too, but I can't get that to work. Here's our power steering pump, our 12 volt battery, which is also Lithium. You can see how they did some of the vacuum lines. I don't remember. It's Selectra. That's, it's a Selectra. I can't remember which one. Um, speed controller. And then underneath these batteries is another uh, 60 batteries, making the total 100. That's why you see the 360 volt thing. I guess that's the nominal voltage. So I got this car for $300. It was, um, batteries were dead in it. Charged up the batteries individually. I have one cell, which is the third one. One, two. The fourth one over. This one right here vented and is no longer holding the charge at all, so it needs to be replaced. As far as I can tell, it's the only cell that's been messed up. And what I'm thinking is that when that cell went bad, that it, the BMS started discharging all the other cells to match it is what it seems like. Just a guess. If you have any ideas, then feel free to mention them because I'm new to all this. But the car itself is in fairly good shape there's nothing nothing wrong with it it's a nice vehicle I can't wait to get it up and going it was a good buy for $300 even just judging on the way the body looked But then when you start factoring in how much engineering was put into all this stuff, like having the AC running off the drive line and things like that, it was a lot of money. So hopefully I'll be able to replace that one battery here pretty quick. i, I got to move to California, and when I get there, hopefully I'll be able to do it. I have to tow this and get it over there first, but hopefully replacing that one battery will bring me back in. When I was first charging it, I was getting about 40... 48 to 52 amp hour charge into these batteries that are 60 amp hour batteries so i'm guessing they've lost a lot of their capacity but still usable uh, i drove it 30 miles um and still had i think 28 amp hours or 26 something like that before that cell vented and kind of threw off the whole thing now it's throwing a fault co code so it's not it's not something i want to drive right now <clears throat> once i get that cell replaced and all that then i think we'll be okay but this is the tour of my $300 electric Kia. If you guys recognize it, let me know who built it and stuff. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment. Thank you.